Ethical hacking, also known as penetration testing, is an essential practice in cybersecurity. It involves legally testing computer systems and networks for vulnerabilities. Ethical hackers, or white hat hackers, use their skills to identify weaknesses. They then report these findings so they can be fixed before malicious hackers, or black hat hackers, can exploit them. This process helps make systems more secure. It's crucial to remember that ethical hacking must always be conducted with permission. Unauthorized access to computer systems is a crime. Never attempt to hack into systems or networks that you do not own or have explicit permission to test. Ethical hacking is a powerful skill. It can be used for good to protect systems and data. Always remember to use your knowledge responsibly and ethically. Python is an excellent language for building ethical hacking tools. Its simplicity and versatility make it a favorite among developers. It's known for its readability and the abundance of libraries available, which can significantly speed up your development process. These libraries provide pre-written code modules that simplify complex tasks, making Python perfect for ethical hacking. You can find libraries for almost any functionality you need. Before diving into tool building, you need to set up your Python environment. This involves a few essential steps to ensure everything runs smoothly. First, download the latest version of Python from the official website. Make sure you choose the version that matches your operating system. During installation, ensure you check the box that adds Python to your system's path. This is crucial for running Python commands from your command prompt or terminal. This will allow you to run Python commands from your command prompt or terminal, making it easier to execute your scripts. Next, you'll want a good text editor or IDE for writing your Python code. A good editor can make a big difference in your productivity. Popular choices include Visual Studio Code, Atom, and Sublime Text. Each of these editors has its own set of features and plugins. These offer features like syntax highlighting and code completion, making your coding experience smoother and more efficient. Finally, install the necessary Python libraries. These libraries will provide the functionality you need for your ethical hacking tools. We'll be using libraries like Scapy for network operations, Hashlib for working with password hashes, and Pinput for monitoring keyboard inputs. You can install these libraries using the pip package manager which comes bundled with Python. Open your command prompt or terminal and type pip install library underscore name, replacing library underscore name with the specific library you want to install. For example, to install the Scapy library, you'd type pip install Scapy. With your Python environment set up, you're ready to start building your own ethical hacking tools. Happy coding! Our first tool will be a port scanner. This handy tool helps you discover open ports on a target system. Open ports represent potential entry points for hackers, so identifying them is crucial for system security. Here's how to create a simple port scanner in Python. Import socket target underscore host equal sign input, enter the target IP address, target underscore ports equal sign range 1 10 25, hash scan common ports for port in target underscore ports, with socket.socket, socket, socket, socket .af underscore inet comma socket dot sock underscore stream, as ss dot set I'm out one hash set timeout for faster scanning. Result equal sign s dot connect underscore x target underscore host port. If result equal sign equal sign zero, print f port or port is open. This script iterates through a range of ports attempting to establish a connection to each one. If the connection succeeds, the port is open. Password cracking is a crucial aspect of ethical hacking, helping expose weak passwords and improve security measures. A dictionary attack is a common method that involves trying a list of words, often from a dictionary, against a target password hash to find a match. Let's create a simple password cracker using Python's powerful libraries. First, import the hashlib library. Then, define a function. defcrack underscore password, hash underscore type, hash underscore value, word list underscore file. Open the word list file with open word list file r as word list. For each word in the word list, strip any extra spaces and hash it using the specified hash type. Compare the hashed word to the target hash value. If they match, return the word. If no match is found, return none. Hash example usage. Hash underscore type equal sign MD5. Hash underscore value equal sign E10 ADC 3949 Bay 59 Abbey 56 E057 F20 F883 E hash example MD5 hash. 
wordlist underscore file equals sign quote wordlist dot text dot call the function password equals sign crack underscore password hash underscore type hash underscore value wordlist underscore file if a password is found print if password found password otherwise print password not found in the word list this script takes a hash type hash value and word list file as input parameters it then hashes each word in the word list using the specified hash type and compares it to the target hash effectively demonstrating the dictionary attack method section 5 sniffing packets for network analysis packet sniffing is well kind of like eavesdropping on your network it involves intercepting and logging traffic that passes over a digital network. It allows you to capture and analyze network traffic, revealing valuable information about data flow, such as the source and destination of packets, protocols used, and even the data being transmitted. Here's how to create a basic packet sniffer in Python. This can be a powerful tool for network administrators and security professionals. First, we need to import the socket module, which provides access to the network interface. Then, we define a function called sniff underscore packets that takes an interface as an argument. This function will handle the packet capturing process. Inside this function, we create a raw socket using the socket library. This raw socket allows us to capture all packets regardless of their protocol. We bind this socket to the specified network interface ensuring it listens to the traffic on that interface. Next, we enter an infinite loop to continuously capture packets. This loop will keep running until we manually stop it. Each packet is received using the recFrom method and then printed to the console for analysis. For example, you can use the interface eth0 by replacing it with your network interface. This ensures the script captures packets from the correct source. This script captures raw network packets on the specified interface and prints them to the console. It's a simple yet effective way to monitor network traffic. You can further analyze this raw data to extract valuable information, such as identifying potential security threats or troubleshooting network issues. Section 6. Creating a Keylogger A keylogger is a tool that records every keystroke typed on a computer. While it can be used maliciously, it also has legitimate applications in ethical hacking, such as testing security awareness among employees. Building a basic keylogger in Python is straightforward using the library from pinput import keyboard def on press key, try print f key pressed, key dot char, except attribute error print f special key pressed, key, with keyboard dot listener, on underscore press, equal sign on underscore press, as listener, listener dot join. This script listens for key presses and prints them to the console. You can modify this code to save the logged keystrokes to a file for later analysis. Ethical considerations. Keyloggers can be very intrusive. Never use them for malicious purposes or without obtaining explicit consent from the target user. Section 7. Enhancing your hacking toolkit. The tools we've built are basic but functional. You can enhance them with additional features to make them more robust and user-friendly. Error handling. Implement error handling to make your tools more reliable. Use try, accept blocks to catch potential errors and handle them gracefully. Logging. Add logging capabilities to record your tool's actions and findings. This provides valuable information during penetration testing engagements. Creating GUIs. Consider creating graphical user interfaces or GUIs for your tools. GUIs make them more accessible to users who are not comfortable with command line interfaces. By incorporating these enhancements, you can transform your basic Python scripts into powerful ethical hacking tools. Section 8. Ethical Hacking Platforms for Practice Once you've built some ethical hacking tools, it's essential to practice your skills in safe and legal environments. Several platforms provide vulnerable systems and challenges designed to help you hone your abilities. Try HackMe. This platform offers a gamified approach to learning ethical hacking, it features interactive rooms, challenges, and pathways covering various cybersecurity topics. Hack the Box. This platform provides a more realistic, ethical hacking experience. You gain access to vulnerable machines and networks, requiring you to apply your skills to compromise them. These platforms offer a safe and legal way to practice your ethical hacking skills, test your tools, and gain valuable experience. Section 9. 
Conclusion, hack responsibly. Learning ethical hacking opens up a fascinating world of cybersecurity. You can contribute to a safer digital environment by understanding how hackers operate and how to protect systems from them. Remember, ethical hacking is about using your knowledge for good. Always obtain permission before testing systems or networks. Use your skills responsibly and ethically to make the digital world a safer place.